Hello and welcome back to another episode of Counterattack, uh, where I get the chance to talk about some things that have been coming up in my conversations with players. And today's conversation is all about mindful eating. And actually, it never starts with the idea of mindful eating. Mindful eating, being mindful of what you're eating, drinking, um, kind of savouring the flavour. Um, that, that always comes from... Uh, guys saying to me I feel like I'm mindlessly eating I'm eating and I don't know why I'm eating I'm eating and you know uh, afterwards I think why did I do that um, so mindful eating if you can uh, bring in any of these practices it'll be really really beneficial to you I think now I'm going to talk about maybe 10 ways you can mindfully eat don't do all 10 ways um, do one Try it for a week, see if it works for you. Um, if it works for you for a week, don't think oh, I'm going to add something new in next week. Think actually, I'm going to keep that going. Evidence suggests that um, if you do something for, I think it's uh, 21 times you repeat an action, it becomes more habitual. Um, and that's what we want to get to. We want to get to this stage where things are a habit for you um, so that you always do them. So this mindful eating becomes habitual. Um, you're always mindfully eating without really knowing about it. So uh, without further ado, the strategies. So the first strategy, um, and if you're watching this on YouTube, is up on the screen as well, is to sit at the table. Um, to sit at a table is a powerful thing. Um, it uh, There's less distractions. Um, you know, if the TV's off, if you're just sat there chatting, that natural chatting that's going to happen at the table um is a is a beneficial thing uh, just the act of sitting at a table um being upright will force you to um kind of think about your food a bit more as well um this is a really good strategy shared with me by my uh by my coach um when i first started and it's to put your fork down between bites how often do we just put in the next mouthful put in the next mouthful get our mouth to 25% empty, 25% uh, full, and then need to fill it back up again. Um, putting down your fork, putting down your fork and knife between uh, bites is a really beneficial thing. Um, it's something that's really changed how I eat um, and made eating a more sociable event. Because don't forget, eating is, yes, nutrition, eating, drinking is all about keeping you alive. But it's a massive social event as well. If That's a, um, a mindful eating strategy you can use if you go out for a meal with friends. Uh, it'll actually make your conversation better. It'll make um, you not so focused on the food, but more focused on the company. Uh, putting your fork down between bites is really good. Um, I would suggest not doing this one if you're out for a meal. But my father-in-law does this all the time. We watch him and we, we always... Um, we always pick on him for it. Um, close your eyes. So close your eyes. If you're eating, if you're eating a really lovely treat, no, no, I didn't say cheat, treat pudding, you know, you've got your, your melt in the middle chocolate pudding, it's a chocolate mousse, it's a, you can see I love that chocolate, um, a lemon tart, you know, and it could be anything, it be whatever you think is, is your favourite thing. Um, close your eyes and savour it actually think about the food mindful eating actually just comes down to thinking about the food so that's a really powerful strategy um ignore the health claims on food so don't just grab i'm going to grab fat free i you know completely sugar free low calorie don't don't just look at that um the claims on the packaging and think i'm being mindful about my food be mindful about what you're eating even if it says it's fat free um it may well be laden with sugar. It may be laden with other things that you don't really want in your body or you want to limit. So don't think I'm being mindful because I'm always buying a Weight Watchers meal, but I'm eating three of them. Um, so ignore the health claims on there. Just think about what you're eating. Um, don't eat and watch TV is a really good one. Uh, it's one I'm I'm not able to do. I We always eat watching the TV, uh, but I know when we're out for a for a meal um, out in a restaurant I don't eat so fast um, and mindful eating is about slowing it down as well um, don't eat straight from the packaging um, how often do we eat um, straight from the packaging you know put it on a plate lay it out nicely um, 
take take your time you might find if you dish it up straight from the packaging when you put it on a plate it's too big for the plate so therefore you leave some in the packaging you finish your plate and you're full so you've mindfully not eaten uh, but i know if i had that packaging in front of me i'd finish every single scrap um so pa uh, plating it up can really help especially if you've got smaller plates smaller plates is a really good tip um eat with your non-dominant hand this is something i've never done but it's always interested me so i'm right-handed put my fork in my left hand munch away um chew more so chew more um you know be mindful of okay i'm not going to just put it in my mouth chew it a few times swallow it next 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 um chew it a bit more um and at the top of this picture it says mindful eating aka slow the hell down and that's that's all it is really um outside of this picture i've got a few more um that that i've used previously that have really helped um so i did a i did i think a four week cut where part of my mindful eating strategy was before i ate a single bite i would plate it up make sure it looked pretty take a picture and post it to instagram that block between me and eating helped it made me realize that this isn't just a process where i am going to fill myself this is a process where i'm going to really enjoy it um and i want you know i want to take a picture i want to take my time i want to look at it um eating with chopsticks really really beneficial um thing to do because we're not so adept and you can't fit so much on there as you can when you pile up a fork um so eating with chopsticks like i'm not saying eat your pizza with chopsticks um but you know if if, if the food uh, fits eating with chopsticks is a, a helpful thing um i suggested this to a guy in bristol um who was having a pizza night and said i'm having four slices of pizza and i said listen have a have a bottle of water next to you, a half pint of water, squash, you know, whatever your low calorie drink is, and say, I'm going to eat my slice of pizza and then I'm going to drink my drink. And until I've drunk my drink, whether that's, you know, half a pint, half a half a pint glass or quarter of a pint of water, if it's a half a pint of water, whatever it is you're going to drink between um, your slices of pizza, do that as a kind of pacing strategy. Um, it's something we do on nights out. I imagine people who've got, you know, work the next day and have gone for a heavy night out. You know, at the end of the night, you start going, I'm going to have a drink, then I'm going to have a pint of water. I'm going to have a drink, then I'm going to have a pint of water because I can't deal with being hungover tomorrow. So you pace yourself in terms of the alcohol. But we can do that in terms of food as well. I'm having four slices of pizza. That means I'm going to drink three half pints of water. Water also, or squash, or, you know, I'm not, I'm not a massive advocate just for water. Water only, a uh, squash um diet pepsi pepsi max coke zero all of those things they're absolutely great um but that has the added benefit of that fluid filling you up as well that allowing your body to feel full um to talk talk between talk between your bites so make sure you have your conversations keeping going be mindful of your conversation um so that your food mindfulness can be less um and <laughs> something we've done previously um in my house is play a board game while you're playing eating your food especially if it's a takeaway especially if it's a pizza um just the we love scrabble in our house just the pure fact of you having to think about your scrabble means you're not having to you know mind mindlessly just gromp on your food um so hopefully there's a few strategies there uh, for mindful eating it is something i really think is a beneficial thing um to mindfully eat and hopefully it's something that maybe you can take one or two over the next two or three weeks um and, and practice that and see if it makes a difference um for you thanks very much guys